So oftentimes people say, I need a budget, and there's an app called that. People um, ask me about different tools to use, and there's a ton of tools out there that are really effective, and so is paper and pencil and an old-fashioned spreadsheet. Um, but a lot of times people are doing these three things that no matter what you're doing, they tweak it out, they tweak out your budget plan. So the first one I'll mention, number three, is um, calling it a budget. The first mistake is calling it a budget. Because a lot of times people see budget as a restriction instead of freeing. So money can actually be a tool for planning and manifestation, actually creating your life, and it can actually free you. Um, so I like to call it a spending plan, a conscious spending plan. Um, there's all kinds of names you can give it. And I first learned the whole like you know call it something different to make it work for you from Barry Tesler from her for one of her old businesses called Conscious Bookkeeping. Um, so yeah, so call it what you want to call it. And uh, tell me what you what words, what words you decide, because I'm interested in that. So um, don't call it a budget if you don't like that word. Call it something different. And uh, for me, it was a big shift, because I hated the idea of a budget. And then um, I got to figure out how I wanted to spend my money and how I planned for it. And it really made a difference for me. And I've been doing it for over 10 years now. Okay, and second one is um, creating a, a spending plan or a budget without tracking your numbers. And so people sometimes will come to me and they'll say, I keep creating a budget and it doesn't work. And, you know, and I'm like, well, where'd you get your budget? And they didn't actually track their income for long enough to actually see what the reality is to create an actual realistic budget. They're trying to like, dampen down and like you know reduce their expenses without actually seeing what they actually need to uh, live on and and then sometimes that fluctuates too of course uh, just with even food for example um, and basic bills so tracking first to see actually what you're doing before you say before you call it a budget wherever you end up calling it okay and the last one is uh, not adjusting. So your your budget, whatever you want to call it, your spending plan is not this stagnant thing that never changes. Um, it can change based on a lot of different factors, including getting more income, um, you know, unexpected expenses that you didn't plan for, changes in life. Um, so many factors will change your your money situation, um, and so. So basically, the, the third one here is not adjusting based on reality. And that also includes planning for periodic expenses. So the things that happen once a year, like certain kinds of insurance or you know, you know, registration for your car or certain business expenses um, or even just taxes. Uh, so not planning for those kinds of things um, within your spending plan can really tweak you out. So incorporating those kinds of things and also fluctuating income. That's a whole nother topic. So if you have a business and your income goes up and down, which most of us have you know, a range that it goes up and down to, how do you manage that? So that's a whole nother topic I can do another time. And uh, these kinds of topics are, are so important because having your money and having people like you have control over it and knowing where it's going is a conscious relationship is a game changer. And you can use these tools to actually create what you want to create. You can use them to plan and manifest and, uh, and to vision your future based on future plans that you create. That's another, another Facebook Live. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in uh, learning more about this kind of thing and really leveraging this, these tools and more in your business, I'm doing a money boot camp starting October 17th. And you can learn more about that in the link below. Thanks a lot.